It's one of the biggest banks here in Mongolia. I, 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 I have to say, sir, first of all, thank you for turning up at this ungodly hour and, um, uh, and joining us. Very grateful for you. Thank you, Richard. Welcome to Mongolia. The vast majority of the economy here is the resource economy. Is that sustainable? Would you like to see a more diversified economy, if that were possible? Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course, the diversification of the economy is desired in the mid to long term, I think. Uh, but the, our resource, mineral resource is so rich, and the size of the country, only 3.3 million population, we have a great, still a big, big potential for growth for the next mid long term. In, 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 in the mineral resources. And if we look, at, for example, at the mining, I mean, you're talking about 50, 60, 100 years' worth mm -hmm. of mining yes. uh, reserves. So what's the, what's the big problem? What's the worry? Is it the geopolitical risk? Yes, the, the, our uh, economy is so much dependent on the China now. The 80% of our export go to China, and most of them are minerals and coals and coppers. And so... This, the one reliance on this one area is a potential risk geopolitically, yes. You see, the thing about China and that geopolitical risk, of which we'll talk a great deal more over the mm -hmm. next few days, the thing about that is the, the reality is China doesn't want to shoot itself in the foot. Mm -hmm. So hurt Mongolia and you hurt your, uh, China. Mm -hmm. But China could easily do some damage to this economy? Possible. Uh, actually, uh, but, but the China needs resources, mineral resources, also maybe in the future agriculture or food resources. Uh, but, so we are geopolitically in, in a challenged position, but we are neighbor. Uh, we have uh, some advantage to trade well with them potentially. And it may be beneficial for each other for, yeah, if, we, if we control well. The market, you're, you're, you're listed on the market here, you're yes. one, all the banks, all the major banks are. The market also wants to grow mm -hmm. and it also wants to diversify. Mm -hmm. We'll be talking to the stock exchange yeah. head uh, in, a, in another programme. But is that realistic, do you think? Is mm. there the opportunity for this economy to grow in, in, into a sort of a, a fully fledged market capitalist economy with a bigger stock market? Well, over the size of the economy, if you consider that... Maybe it takes time to have some more like a desired, more diversified economic situation. Uh, so relying on the minerals export, we develop the economy further and the service sector uh, certainly growing. Uh, but the, the market itself, it's, it's, it's real, continue to be small. There are so many things that I, I really need looking to talk to you about, but particularly, for example, I know they're not called capital controls and they're not called exchange controls. They're bank limitations mm -hmm. on the amount of dollars that I can take out as, a, mm -hmm. as, a, as, a, as an ordinary person. What is it now? Well, as of now, uh, there's no uh, restrictions now. Now we are get rid of the little bit different... 300, yeah. $300. Yes. Yeah, it used to be. And sometimes the, when the foreign reserve is tight, the time to time the Mongolian banks needed to restrict the amount of dollars to provide to the customers. That's what happened. But when the trade goes well, we have enough, the foreign reserve increase, and currently those restrictions are now lifted. They're lifted. You're optimistic about the country. Well, as far as this is a small country dependent on the trade, as, as far as we maintain the uh, healthy trading environment, I think this, this is okay that uh, we, can, yeah, we can control it. I'm very grateful, sir. Thank yeah, you thank for... You.